This tutorial shows how to download install and set JDK environment variables on Windows 7. Start your browser. In my case I'm using Google Chrome. Go to Google and search JDK 8. Select the first option. Or choose the appropriate download option. After the website loads, locate the version you want to install. Accept the license agreement. I'm choosing the JDK executable file for Windows 64-bit. This depends on your operating system type. If your Windows is 32-bit, then download 32-bit version. When you click the link you will be directed to login page, login or register and your download should start immediately. I already have JDK downloaded in my downloads folder. When the download is complete, go to the folder where the JDK executable file is stored. First you can check if the Java Development Kit is installed already by running the following commands using CMD, Command Prompt. 1 Java. 2 Java C. 3 Java Version. If these above commands return nothing just know that Java is not found on your computer and you can start the installation. Follow the installation process to the end, and leave the default installation location. If you want, you can also change it.
When the download is finished you can confirm if the JDK was installed by going to the locations you chose while installing. I am able to find two files on my C colon backslash program files backslash Java path. To set the environment variables, click on Windows 7 Start Menu button. Right click on my computer and select Properties. Click Advanced System Settings. Click the Environment Variables button. Under System Variables, scroll till you locate Path. Click to select Path and then, click Edit button below. Add both of these paths for JDK and JRE at the end of existing paths, separated by semicolon. Then go back to command prompt, cmd, and run these commands, 1 java, 2 java c3, java version, once more to confirm whether JDK has been installed successfully and environment paths configured. As you can see all the commands are running successfully. So that means that the installation has been successful.